Oh, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> that was perfect. He like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, another episode. He was the one saying welcome back. Yeah, he's like, exactly. all right, welcome back, everybody. He's like, I got this shit. <laughs> All right, right. so we're going to go explore this. You're in this, like, pseudo Iron Maiden thing. Yeah. (laughs) Six! Six, six! Oh. The number one, the beast! I thought you said sex. (laughs) Oh. Sex! I mean, that's probably what that song is about. Probably. A little bit of both. A little bit of Satan. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? Hey, man. These guys are... He's got a little, like, a noodle face going on. Oh, he's got that beak. It's like a, yeah, it's like a plague doctor. What are those things called? Plague doctor? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a little bit of that going on. I mean, plank. it's not its not fully. A plank doctor. A plank doctor? Yes. <laughs> oh, a plank! <laughs> oh, shit, we got the twin blade. Do we need that? I thought we were trying to do this thing with this club. We're not, and I can't even wield this, but I do like this weapon. Oh, my. Darth Maul, dude. Now you're Darth Maul. Yep. But it's okay, because we may or may not be using a different kind of twin that would blade be later really, on in the game. That would be a really hard weapon to control. Like, yeah. one-handed, that thing? Yeah. Because, like... All of your muscles that have to work with it are your your trapezius has got to be like going at it. Your trapezius. Yeah, your uh, your your, uh, your deltoids. You got a lot of triceps. Your and, like, phalanges. If you're going forwards, you have a lot of triceps. But if you're like pulling in all the time, you need like a lot of biceps. You you just be really big in one arm, yeah. and part of your back, and you'd be a half pencil neck. Just yeah. one side of your neck will have have the trapezius going up. I mean, that's kind of like. That's going to happen regardless of what weapon you're one-handing. Like, yeah. I'm one-handing a club right now. Using that same downward motion every single time I attack, that's going to that's gonna cause some some buff arms. Yeah, that's true. Eventually. It's kind of like masturbating, because, like, uh, when you... you Pretty much all, all men have, like, one arm that's slightly larger than the other. It's because sort of. of all that fucking... I actually don't. You want to know why? Why? So, um... I'm right-handed. Yeah. But for some reason, I have no idea why, but ever since I started masturbating, I've I've masturbated with my left hand. Isn't that isn't that normal like you always use your off hand for stuff? Like, I mean, I think that Like you put a watch on your off hand and like I maybe. I don't know, but I most right-handed people jack off with their right hands. I know that for a fact. Do you? Yeah. How I do mean, you know? I don't know. Okay, are you right-handed or left-handed? I was born left-handed, but I'm right-handed. Okay, and what and hand do I you can't, masturbate with? I can't confirm which one's which because or which one is correct for me though because like I wear a watch on my right hand right. because like I have a lot of senses with like with my left that I'm used to. Okay. Also, I can't write correctly. Like I can't hold a pencil correctly with my right hand. I hold it like fuck? really weird, like I'm making a fist. Can you write correctly with your left hand? Uh, when I hold the pencil with my left hand, I do it correctly. But you can't write with it. I can't. No, it doesn't. It does not. So okay. you just can't write then, is what you're saying? Yes, that's true. Because like <laughs> making that fist when I write with my right hand, it just looks awful. Oh. And I can't even do it that long because it starts to hurt. So that's why you type everything. Yeah. Interesting. That and you know. But then I'm you, part you can't of the spell anyway, part of so the progress. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's also why you type. Oh yeah. Good Computers point. fix that. That's true. What's, Sometimes. Yeah, I mean. Look, we're we're in 2018 now. Yeah. Everything's about uh, technology advancing and all that stuff. First of all, this is true. Uh, oh, shit. Writing writing language, like uh-huh. written language, yes, um, is is not normal human behavior. So I'd like to get farther and farther away from that, anyways. So if the computer starts to clean that up for me, written whatever. language is getting. Wait, what? Yeah, we're not made to write. We're not made to read either. That's why you, you that's why people who read a lot of books, their sight gets blurry. But if we're going if we're going into the digital age, er, that's gonna be everything. No, no, Nobody no. Nobody even talks to each other audio, anymore. Everything is text and audio and, and video is and, picking up. And instant messaging and and Skype no, and no, no, Discord no. and notice, Facebook. Notice most people use images to get points across quickly now. Hmm. They just put up a they put up a GIF and or they put up like a picture. So are you implying that the next language that that humans will use to interact will be emojis. Yes. We're going to go back to hieroglyphics. Yes. I, I believe that that's the much faster... Uh, you know that you can see images faster than you can read text? Um, sounds right. In fact, that's why when you take text and you flash each word individually, you can read faster than if you were just reading uh, left to right. I don't flash my phone. I don't trust that the government isn't watching me. <laughs> Thanks, Brett. Yeah, you know uh, that, right? Um, Your words per minute goes way up if each word flashes in front of you. I don't. 
I don't know. I'm I'm a fast reader and I'm a fast typer. I'll have to show you. Like, okay. have you ever done that? No, I don't. You can I don't get even to understand like understand what you're telling me. You don't. Not You've really. never seen those. Okay, basically you have a blank screen. Uh huh. And then one word pops up on the screen. Yeah. And then disappears, and then the next word pops up on the screen. Okay. But it flashes uh, one word after another. Yeah, okay. And it goes I, incredibly I fast, and you yeah. can actually read that faster than if you were reading left to right on like a book. Okay. And it's because we're made to process. Uh, first of all, the text is much larger, so we're not like looking at a little tiny text. Okay. And second of all, it's we're made to process images faster than, and like hmm. text is an image, but like a tiny little bits. That's like seeing ants versus like seeing uh, I don't know a cat or something. I feel like ninety percent of the current human population will have to be dead before that's a thing, though. Yeah, I have this other theory that uh, all humans are going to get wiped out like we're not evolving. It's a pretty interesting theory. You want to hear it? Yeah, go on, please. Okay, so uh, I have this thing where I, everyone was like, oh, what's the next stage of human evolution? Oh, we're all going to become like, oh, we're all going to do telepathy and control things with our minds. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, first of all, we already do that. Thank you very much. Uh, do you think those muscles in your arms and your hands move themselves? Yeah. Answer is no, because there's there's a a little neural impulse that comes out of your brain that goes to your your muscles to contract them and make them work. Mm -hmm. So technically, we control our own bodies with our with just our brains. Okay. So first of all, we're already doing telepathy, um, and I can tell you that we 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 also teleport as we move, but that's a whole another topic. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! No, no, no. No, not another topic. You explain to me what the fuck you mean. How we teleport? Yeah. Oh, god damn it. All right, look, here, think think about this. I'm going to give you a little brain cookie here. Okay. Okay. Uh, how many numbers are between zero and one? Uh, full numbers? No. The, how, many, how, how many numbers? Like 0 0.5, 0 0.45? How many numbers are between zero and one? It's, it's, it's infinite. It's infinite. So how could you go from zero to one to two? If it's infinite, just between that gap. Okay, now, uh, you can zoom in to space infinitely. There's infinite space if you keep zooming in, right? Yeah. If that's the case, how do we move from point to point? How do we move through infinite space just by pushing our arm forward? We have to teleport. And now if you think about it, if you, if you think about like <laughs> electrons and stuff, right? <laughs> Electrons, they, they basically teleport. They move so fast, right? And they wiggle around okay, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like that. So if nothing moves faster than the speed of light and you've got to travel infinite space in a short amount of time, yeah. you have to be teleporting. I, I mean, yeah? It's the same thing as if, like, uh, if you flick your wrist, if you're holding a laser, yeah. you're pointing at the moon and you flick your wrist, yeah. the distance that the laser would travel uh, is faster than the speed of light. Like, there's all kinds of little things you don't think about that, that exist. Okay, so what does this have to do with humans dying? <laughs> yeah, let's go back to humans dying now that you made me segue. Well, you fucking just completely shattered my brain for a second. <laughs> so, back to the topic. Okay, so... I'm uh, not even talking this episode, dude. You're no, it's blowing cool. my mind. <laughs> it's cool. We're going to finish this whole thing on evolution. So, yeah. so we think that people are going to evolve to this next stage or whatever. We're not. We're actually stagnant right now. And it's because we keep healing ourselves. The basic principle of survival of the fittest is that the weak have to die. But our weak don't die. We heal them. We create cures for the diseases that they have, right? Sometimes. So we're, we're all we're busy killing off the diseases so that they become more powerful. They're going to become more powerful. We're going to have super diseases at some point. Uh -huh. So the diseases are evol out evolving us. So it is very likely that at some point in the future, if we keep this path, Mm -hmm. and we and we just allow people to mate with whoever mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. that the diseases will outgrow us and outgrow all our knowledge and to where we can't defeat them and they will they'll wipe us out except for a very tiny few of people who are immune and then that's the next stage of evolution whoever's immune to that doesn't mean they're smart or anything it could be the stupidest people in the world okay they just so happen to be immune to they that one disease the super immune systems yeah to the super disease we created because we're killing off all the the easy easy to grab diseases well, right jeez so uh, that's, that's one of the, that's one of the, the problems, right? So yeah. the reason that human evolution isn't really working out the way as easily as it would have before was like, you have Neanderthals, right? Mm -hmm. And you have the Homo sapiens or whatever they're called. I don't fucking know. 
Uh, Cro Magnus. Yes, they they killed off the previous ones, right? Right. That's part of the evolution, getting rid of what what didn't work and having only what is left. Yes. We're not doing that, obviously. We're healing ourselves and everything. So, if two people, two of the smartest people in the world, got together, had a baby, and then that baby got with the smartest person in the world, and they kept doing that, you'd get a really, really smart person, right? Right. Well, then that person might fall in love with an idiot, the, the, the stupidest person in the world, and now you have a halfway baby, right? <laughs> Yeah, like halfway one that's, baby. Yeah, one that's not that that's just an average person again. So they just regressed all the evolution that happened. Okay. So you see, this is this is the problem because we're not those people aren't dying. The stupid people aren't dying because we keep healing them. The people who are uh, weak to diseases aren't dying because we we give them drugs to to kill off the disease. They're not even killing it off themselves. True, but also stupider people have less chance of having good health insurance. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Right. It's so easy. Damn, I didn't know we were getting political on this episode. But anyways, no, no, no. But yeah, it's... Uh, All right. There's two thoughts for you. Infinite space That and, was two uh, thoughts? Yeah, infinite space and uh, human evolution. Oh, my God. <laughs> Apparently, I don't even need to be here, man. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> thanks, for the, thanks for joining me on the Brent Podcast. Yeah, we'll see you on the Jesus next one. Christ.